So you don't know a damn thing about data centers, but you keep hearing about them in the news. Data center plans is not AI data center. Data center. Data centers. Well, don't you worry. I'm going to educate you today. You see, most of us know data centers as the cloud, but strip away that marketing jargon. And the data center is basically a digital factory in a massive warehouse. Inside are racks of servers a hundred times more powerful than your home computer. And they're running 24 seven just to process and deliver everything that you touch online. But in order to keep up with your cat video addictions, these facilities gobble up more infrastructure support than calories consumed in your favorite mukbang video. When it comes to power alone, small data centers can consume anywhere from 10 to 50 kilowatts a day. That's roughly the same power draw of your entire neighborhood block. As for large data centers, what we call hyperscale, these massive facilities are beer bonging over 100 megawatts a day. That's basically a mid-sized city running on Netflix and chill. Nice. Combining all data centers globally, over the course of a year, they can easily consume 250 terawatt hours. That is roughly the same amount of power as the entire country of the United Kingdom uses in a single year. But Houston, we have a problem for every sip of power a server takes from the grid. It spits out heat like a jet engine running indoors. Cooling often consumes 30 to 40 percent of a data center's total power bill. So for every dollar spent powering servers, they're spending almost another 50 cents just to keep them from melting down. And in hot environments like Arizona or Nevada, some data centers can blow through millions of gallons of water per day just in evaporative cooling. And all that megawatt chugging, heat spewing, water guzzling chaos, it's what helps us move over three quatillion bytes of data a day across the globe. And thanks to data centers, you can FaceTime your mom, binge watch some garbage reality TV, and order tacos at 2 a.m. without worrying about the system crashing. And now you know. Oh, and if you're a fellow nerd like me and want a shirt like this, go check out Data Center Savage.